course, it was not easy to become CEO at the age of 31. Um, among one of the youngest in Malaysian history. Uh, the youngest is actually Tan Sri Azman Hashim at the age of 30. Um, <coughs> Datuk Nazir became CEO about 35. And yeah, that's basically it. And people are jealous. People are jealous and they will do anything possible to bring you down. Right? Which is normal human nature. Right? And you just have to manage it accordingly. And especially when you're young, you have to make sure that you do things in a manner that does not threaten people. Right. When I joined CIMB, I, I, have, I, have, I have this 28 or 29 inch waist, very, very, very young. Okay. Um, and people did not take me seriously. You, are, you became head of a division and you are supposed to be doing the business and you are supposed to be talking to the central bank governors or talking to the SC chairman and the, the, the managing director or executive director of the SC and things like that and trying to convince them that what you are saying is right what you are saying is good for the industry but you look so young eh? who is this kid trying to tell me what I should do and it was a real problem. It was an extremely real problem because no matter how polite I say to people, they would take offense. I mean, imagine you're a 60-year-old man and all of a sudden this, this 30-year-old start telling, hey, you know, the, 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 the structure that has been put in place in the industry is not right, we have to improve it in this manner and things like that. Of course, they will take offense. Oh, I aku makan garam dulu, you know, that kind of stuff. I, I'm here before you, and I know what I'm doing, you know. So, so I decided, in order to be able to do what I need to do in my job, I have to be one of them. But how can I be one of them if I'm young? So I decided. I might as well put on weight. <laughs> so I put on weight. I put on weight, and in the same year that I put on weight, some white hair starts com coming out. <laughs> and as a result of it, everything that I said a year earlier that was very badly received was easily received <laughs> one year later. Right? Okay, at that time they did not know that my age. Right? I only started declaring my age formally and officially when we started publishing our annual report and we have to disclose our age. It became compulsory to disclose age. Right? So for a long for a long time people in the industry thought I was 45 or, or late 40s lah. Right? and I, it was from, done on purpose because in order to do what I need to do in fulfilling my KPI in CIMB I have to get people to listen to me so I put on weight and as a result of it the Islamic Securities Guideline was introduced, the various banking guidelines was changed, the Sharia, Sharia Management Guideline was introduced. So all the things that we, are, we were doing in CIMB were adopted. Right. And it was only after I have put on weight that people stopped trying to sabotage me. Because they thought I was old, he's not. He's not going to threaten 
my position. Okay. So if so when when you are thirty, when you are thirty five, you are still in a position that you are going trying to go up. People perceive that you're trying to go up and trying to take away their position. Okay. But because they thought I was forty five, okay lah, it's not a threat. Okay. So I was allowed to grow naturally and 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 without without um, having any sabotage or whatever from external parties and I, I managed to prove myself um, so CIMB Islamic is today the largest Islamic bank uh, in terms of branch network in the world um, we are the fastest growing Islamic bank in the world in terms of total assets we are um, the second largest Islamic bank in Malaysia and Southeast Asia in terms of total assets. Um, just behind me, Bank Islamic. Of course, CIMB Islamic has only been there in balance sheet business for the last five years. And Maybank has been there for the last close to 20 years. Okay. So we achieve what they have, they are, they have achieved uh, within the shortest time frame. So, I managed to do all that because I do what is necessary to be able to do my job, including sacrificing my look. Right? The heaviest that I was, was 96 <laughs> kg. Right? And the day that I stopped, that I that I took stock and 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 reversed that was when one day that Nazir and I was coming into the office together. He was in front of me. I was behind him. We entered the lift. I stood behind him, and he stood in front of me. So as he was looking at his BlackBerry reading, he he turned, look at me, and then he turned back, look at his BlackBerry, and then he turned back. And he took his hand and put it on my stomach. <laughs> so there was, there was, he did not say a single thing. Um, on the same day, I went out and bought a whole gym set and put it in the house. <laughs> so that was the day that I decided it is no longer a need for me to pretend okay, to be older than my age. Because the market has already accepted my leadership in the industry, and therefore uh, there is no need for it anymore. Okay. Of course, when when Nazir did that, it reminded me uh, that I was getting fat. It's not it's not really just putting on weight. It was really forgetting yourself, as as you become so involved and so engrossed in what you do, you tend to forget. Uh, to manage your own health okay. um, so that was that was also a, a factor that put me uh, to change to reverse uh, that decision to be older than than my own age okay. so that is essentially the his, uh, how I became CEO and where CIMB Islamic is now um, I think one thing one thing that we have to always remember uh, when you develop your career, um, I think I think the CEO of Coca Cola, what did Coca Cola mention? You, you have you, you have to balance work, your your family, your friends, your uh, health, and your spirit in your career, and, and you have to imagine that they are balls, and the work is a rubber ball, uh, and if it falls, it will just bounce back. Right? But the other four balls are made of glass. If it falls, it will crack or shatter. Right? So there's no point in having value if you don't value those values. Right? But then again, when you, when you look at these five, ultimately what you need to do is you must balance it.